What's up everybody, Stray13 here from Band from the Video Store. Someone got a haircut. <laughs> anyway, uh, the movie Kick-Ass is a week away, and I am fucking more excited than a virgin on prom night. Because Kick-Ass is my favorite fucking comic book miniseries of all time. I'm just a huge, huge, huge fan of it. I've already ordered the posters, I've already <clears throat> got the hardback, I'm just, I can't wait for it. Um... I you know I probably should have posted this when I started seeing the um, the the teaser trailers and the trailers and stuff, but uh, I'm a little late. Uh, I I'm really I'm looking forward to it. Um, I I really think it's going to be huge, but I really you know I, I the more I think about it I think it's going to hurt the comic industry and I'm going to tell you why. Now this may sound stupid, but I think that. We're going to start seeing people wearing costumes and getting their asses beat. I really have this feeling like Johnny son of a bitch, you know, who's, you know, 450 pounds and live, lives with his mom is going to put on a bandana mask and go out and try to, like, stop some crackhead from dealing on the corner. He's going to get shot and they're going to fucking blame kick ass for it. And that's going to suck. But, uh, if, I guess if uh, people really did start wearing costumes and beating ass, that's pretty cool. I mean, I, I've always wanted to, like, I, I mean, the movie really does ans ask a question. Why hasn't somebody tried this before? You know, every, like, dumbass, like, blame, you know, if he shoots up his grandma for her fucking Oldsmobile, she, uh, you know, they, they learned it from Grand Theft Auto, or they learned it from, you know, whatever. But, you know, no one's ever really put on a costume and tried to solve crime, or, you know, like, uh, stop crime, I guess. I know there's some dudes in, like, New York that, that, uh, that have, like, that Phantom, there's, like, a guy named Phantom Zero, a guy named Life, and, um, some other guy, if those guys are watching, I'm sorry, I forgot your, your name, dude, um, but, uh, I, I think, I think Kick-Ass really might hurt the comic community, it might, it actually might, you know, hurt, it ended up doing more damage in the long run, but, uh, I'm uh, I'm done with talking about that. I want to talk about the costumes. The costumes change, you know, the costume changes from the uh, from the comic to the movie. Um, kick, kick asses is pretty like close to it, you know, except for that mouth hole. I don't like the mouth hole, and I wish the kid would have been blonde, like um, like he would have been in the you know, in, like he was in the comic and everything. Um, hit girl looks cool. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing like little hit girls on at, uh, on Halloween. Big Daddy is, like, the most disappointing one, being that he looks exactly like Batman, and Nick Cage just needs to get over the fact he's never gonna play Batman, he's never gonna play Superman, he's stuck playing Johnny fucking Blaze. So, you know. Uh, but Red Mist's costume actually looks the best, and Red Mist is actually, well, next to Hit Girl, my favorite character in the comic strips, or the comic series, so... Um, but I, I really think he looks really cool. Uh, McLovin just, I think he's really going to pull off Red Mist, and I really can't wait to see this performance. So I know it comes out Friday. I'm going to try to see it every showing, like, in my, in my, in my town, and, uh, I'll let you guys know what I think about it then. But this is Stray13. Check out BanFromTheVideoStore.com, and, uh, I'll see you guys later.